This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Delighted to be joining a little bit of a somber mood by Frank Smith. Frank, can you talk us through that? Where on earth do we start with the night? Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable night. And, uh, you know, what an atmosphere in there and what a main event. Uh, quite easily fight of the year and it could remain as fight of the year. You know, we're only three months in. But, uh, yeah, what a fight. Um, and just glad Mick Conlon's well. Yeah, can you give us a bang up to date update with that? We've had a couple of bits and pieces. Can you, can you give us the latest as far as you know? Yeah, he's uh, he's in hospital. He's stable and conscious, which is which is brilliant. So um, the medical team did a great job. So you know, fair play. You know, great job by the medical team. The British Boxing Board of Control. They come under stick for a lot of things, but one thing they can't be questioned on is their is their medical practices and their, you know show tonight. Well said. Obviously, we're in the media seats on the other side of the ring, Frank. Can, can you talk us through what happened? Because it was on your side of the ring, wasn't it? It was all quite quick. I, I've got to be honest, I didn't realise he was actually out yeah. when he got caught with a punch. I thought it was just a case in my... Like, I thought we'd just fallen through the ropes. I think yeah. some people felt like they were trying to help him back into the ring. Yeah. You know, like when we've seen fighters fall out of the ring before. I, it all happened quite quickly. So, But watching him back, you know, the shot he caught him with, you know, he was, he was out, you know, when he was up. Um, but yeah, no, it was... Uh, it all happened very quickly. It did, like the rest of us, did you think it was all done and dusted in the first round there? Uh, yeah, but you know, he turned it around. You know, I think it's the second time he's done that now, so you can't ever question his ability to come back. Can you talk us through the rest of the card very quickly, Frank? Anything stand out for you? Yeah, look, great. I mean, a, a very interesting fight between Sandy Ryan and Farris. Farris obviously got the win, so, you know, Sandy, fair play to her. She stepped up early on in her career, and, um, you know, she's going to be... She's, she's got a lot more to bring. Um, will, so will she learn more from a fight like that, Frank, against an experienced campaigner than another knockover yeah, job? I think so, you know, 100%. You know, she could go through her career and get to the point and then not have learned enough, you know, with easy knockover jobs, it probably wouldn't work. So, you know, that was good. Aguiarco, good performance from him. Gary Cully, great finish as well. And these fighters, as we've just seen in the main event there, Frank, they're a different breed to me and you, aren't they? I know, 100%. I agree. Leeds in a couple of weeks. Yeah, can't wait. So, nearly sold out. You know, we're going to have over 12,500 people in there. You know, it'll be another atmosphere like we've seen tonight. Brilliant. Frank Smith, I know you're dashing, so thanks for your time, yeah, Ed. Thank you, mate.